What is going on guys? Hope you guys are all having a great day so far. Today I'm bringing you guys a brand new video and today is going to be something that I don't normally do on my channel but like I've been wanting some off-white stuff like some off-white clothes or jeans but they're all like super expensive bro like some off-white clothes is like literally $300 for a shirt for like a long sleeve shirt just like the supreme one it costs like $300 or so like a pair of pants or like $500 to $700 so I just had the idea, like, why not try to make my own off-white jeans? I don't even know how this even came to my mind. Like, I was just sitting in class a little while ago, and I just thought, like, I, I bet I could probably make some off-white jeans by myself. So that's what this video is going to be. I'm going to be, I guess, showing you guys my way of making some off-white jeans. So if you guys don't know, like, the style that I'm going for, Rascal posted, a, like, a little picture on his Instagram a while ago with some off-white jeans. And, like, the back of it just has, like, the stripes from the off-white. I'm going to have a picture of it right here. But like I'm gonna have that little design on there with the back of my jeans is gonna have those like striped lines and all that I already kind of started it a little bit so that's what just one side of it looks like and then I bought some uh, some fabric painter right here and then some more scotch tape because I already ran out of this same color so I had to get some more but I'm gonna be putting the rest of this side right here and then probably putting another layer on this one and another layer on that one and then I'm gonna be using the fabric painter to just like spray on the the white on the jeans so hopefully it comes out good because I mean this this is a pair of jeans that I always use so if it doesn't come out good I just ruined a pair of jeans bro alright so now I'm gonna be putting the tape on the right side of the leg hopefully I can get it as close as I can to the left side so then there's basically like no difference between the two legs alright but whatever here we go I'm gonna start putting the tape on the right side of the leg Alright, so here we go. I just finished putting the tape on the left or on the right side of the foot. That looks as close as I can get it, so I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna just put another layer on this one and another layer on that one just to make sure that no paint goes through the tape to get like on like this side of the, the jeans and all that so it really doesn't mess up. But I'm gonna be putting another layer on both sides, so I'll bring this back in a little bit. A few moments later. Alright, so I am back. I just finished putting up two of the layers for the pants. I also fixed this one up a little bit and made the gap like a little bit smaller, like the tiniest bit smaller. So it kind of makes it look almost exactly the same. I don't know if you guys can even tell the difference. Maybe just these squares right here are probably the biggest differences, but those are so difficult to make them exactly the same. But, I mean, from what I did so far, like that actually looks pretty dope. Like, I can't wait till I start actually using the fabric painter and just like spraying that stuff down and seeing how it looks when it's finished but now that I just finished this it's time to put the fabric painter on so let's go all right so here we go I'm gonna start painting the jeans but what I just remembered is like with the whole spray it's gonna be going everywhere so I'm gonna be covering like a full part of the jeans and like the whole front part of the jeans I'm gonna be covering a lot of it just to make sure that the only the paint goes on like the gaps and it doesn't go on like the the actual jean part of it so I'm gonna bring this back in a little bit once I finish putting like the tape all around here just to make sure no tape goes anywhere where I don't want it so I'll bring this back once I do that alright so here we go I just finished putting the masking tape around all the places that I don't want to get painted so only the gaps are the places that should only be getting painted at this point because I covered almost the whole jean so it's just the gaps right here so I'm actually kind of nervous for this dude just because like I use these jeans all the time so if I mess them up or if I get like spray anywhere where I don't want it it's gonna mess up the jeans a lot and I don't even know if it's still or if I'm even gonna like it enough to still wear it at, the, at that point so it's a risk dude it's a risk doing this but <laughs> I mean if it comes out good it's gonna look freaking dope hopefully so I'm gonna get right to it Let's just open this thing up and start doing this. Oh yeah, and if you already didn't notice, I changed my shirt just in case like some of the spray gets on my shirt because I was wearing the Supreme one while I was putting on the tape and I don't want to like spray it and then have like this, this spray go up into the shirt and then ruin that Supreme shirt. So I've changed my shirt to something that I don't wear at all anymore. So I'm about to start doing this. Hopefully it turns out good, but let's get to it. This is the start of it. Alright, so I'm going to start painting this side of the jeans now. I'm pretty sure I do have enough of the fabric painter to do this side with two coats. So, I'm going to get started on it. Just shake this thing up a little bit and then start painting this side. This side is just a little bit more scary to do because how I told you, 
This one is a little bit more lifted up, like the tape is a little bit more lifted up than this side was. So I'm hoping that it, the paint doesn't like, like the, when it like leaks and all that, I'm hoping that it doesn't go inside the little gaps of the tape. But I'm hoping for the best. Hopefully this turns out good. If not, then <laughs> I, like, I, like I said, I just ruined a good pair of jeans. But whatever. If it turns out good, then I just freaking made a dope pair of jeans. No. No. I don't have enough, bro. I'm completely out. I'm completely out. Intermission, bro. Intermission. All right, so I'm back now from the store. I just bought another can of the fabric spray. So we're back in business, boys. Let's get back to finishing up this side of the leg. It looks a little bit better. I don't know if it's just because this side is already completely dry and this one's still wet, but I don't know. I'll bring this back in like five minutes to put on the second layer of the spray. So yeah, let's check it out in a little bit. All right guys, so it has actually been half an hour since the last clip because I read on the instructions that once you put on like all the layers that you want, you have to wait half an hour for the actual coats to dry. So I waited half an hour. So now it's time to take off the tape and see how the lines look without the tape on them. So I'm pretty nervous for this. I'm hoping that they all came out good, but we're about to check it out right now. All right, so here we go. I put the camera a little bit closer so then you guys can see how it looks, but I'm about to start taking off the tape right now. So let's, let's, let's do this, dude. I'm hoping that it came out good. Please come out good. Oh man, I'm nervous. I am nervous. Oh bro, you can kind of see this little part right there. That little corner of it. All right, now this is the last layer until we can see how the paint exactly looked on the pants. So here we go. I'm kind of nervous right now. Oh, oh my God, yo, yo. Yo. Yo! Oh my god, no way! Last one! Oh, bro! Bro! Tell me that don't look so dope! Look at that, guys! Oh, wait, I didn't even notice that. I could probably cut that off somehow or like t somehow trim it. But yo! Look at how almost perfectly that came out. Dude, that is actually so dope. Oh my god. Look at that. Bro, if it wasn't for that little part, see I told you guys a little gap from the tape. If it wasn't for that little part, it would, like from far, you can't even tell that it's paint, bro. Like it's actually like so symmetrical that you can barely tell that there's paint. All right guys, so here we go. This is the last layer of tape until I actually get to the jeans part of the pants. So I'm pretty excited to see how this one turned out. Yo, I'm actually so hyped for this one. Just seeing how the last one came out, oh my god. I actually can't wait. All right, here we go. Are you guys ready for this? There's one. Oh my god. Oh my god. There it is, dude. Ah, oh, there it is. The second leg of the off-white jeans. This one looks... There we go, that looks a little bit more diagonal. This way it looks like more straight. But yo, let's take a look at both of them. See how both of them look now. Look at that, bro. Yo, that is actually so dope. Here, let me, let me extend them out a little bit. Yo, oh my God, dude. <laughs> Tell me that doesn't look so dope. Oh my god, bro. There's like no paint seeping through the middles too. Like I thought when like I started spray painting the other side, I thought there would be like a lot of paint going through like the little gaps in the tape. But now actually doing it, like it's only like the smallest little bit that you can see. But like when you see it from far, it, it looks like it was made like that, bro. Then look at that side. Oh my god, it's just that little part right there that kind of turned out a lot bad. Like, you can easily tell that they were freaking made. 
But yo, look at that. Oh my god, dude. That looks so dope. I'm actually super happy on how these pants came out. Like in my head, I thought they would be a lot worse. Like I thought like paint would be in like those gaps or something like that. That was what was running through my head when I first saw that the paint was like going, well, it looked like it was going through like the tapes and all that. So I thought like, damn, I'm gonna have to throw away these jeans. But actually like the finishing touch of it, oh my God, dude. Them off-white custom jeans, bro. That looks so dope. If you, hey, if you guys want some custom jeans, let me know, I got you. But yeah guys, that is the custom off-white jeans. All the stuff that I got for this, I got from Walmart and Home Depot, like the tape I got from Home Depot, the fabric painter I got from Walmart. So if you guys wanna go try this out yourself, they were like $3 for like the can and then it was like $5 for the tape. So if you guys wanna make your own off-white jeans or just like maybe a shirt, I don't know. You guys can definitely do it yourself. Just buy the materials all at Walmart or Home Depot or something like that and you can make some dope stuff like I just did right there. But anyways guys, that's about where I'm gonna wrap up this video. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think about the custom off-white jeans. Tell me if I did a good job on it. I mean, the only part that actually sticks out a lot is that part right there. But other than that, like when you look at it from far, it looks like like, oh my god, it looks so good. But anyways, if you guys did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Peace out, everybody. Yeah, I came in with a saw. Ooh, yeah, I came in with a saw. Yeah, bitch, I flare it raw. Yeah, bitch, I flare it raw. Yeah, yeah, I came in with a saw. Ooh, yeah, I came in with a saw. Ooh, bitch, I flare it raw. Yeah, bitch, I flare it raw. Yeah.